guys, Dean Island with Man here from MigrateiPhone.com and this is going to be our full featured tour of iOS 6. Now I've been using it for an entire day now and I have to say some of the things that I've noticed that weren't announced at WWDC are really, really nice. So as well as the main features as that you saw and that we've blogged about, we're going to show you some of those features that weren't really talked about. So first of all, let's start with the phone's application because at the end of the day the iPhone is a phone. Now there has been a little bit of rework as you can tell here that the dialer has been totally changed and then now it's this more grey -y white version with a blue dialer panel. Now if you can probably tell at the top of here that your status bar actually changes colour with your application that you're in. So there we're in the phones application. If I head over to my AdSense application and just boot that up here, cover everything, you should be able to see that that now has actually turned green. So it's a really, really small little feature, but it is an impressive one. And I think it's these little features that Apple introduced that make iOS 6 such a nice sleek OS. Now let's move over to the settings application. You can see that a few things have changed. Now the settings application has got some new features such as do not disturb which we'll talk about in a few moments time but a lot of the settings has been grouped together so you've got your connectivity settings grouped together, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth has been moved from the general tab straight onto the main settings page which is a really really nice feature it enables you to turn Bluetooth on and off a lot quicker you then got personal hotspot if you have that enabled and carrier moving down you've got notifications with do not disturb added in there you've then got your general sounds brightness and wallpaper and privacy all moved together then you've got your iCloud mails notes reminders and your stock applications your stores a group together and then your two new things of Twitter and Facebook have been integrated in there, pitched together and then you have your third party apps. So the settings panel has had a lot of work done to it and it's nice that you're enabled to get to the, those things very very easily. So next let's talk about Do Not Disturb while we're in the settings application. Now Do Not Disturb you can turn on and off straight from here. And what that enables you to do is not have any notifications come through while that is on. So you can turn it on and off. But if you head into notifications, you can also see that you have a do not disturb feature here as well. If we go into that, it gives you more settings for do not disturb. So you can schedule it, turn that on and off. I have mine set from midnight through to 5.30 in the morning. So I shouldn't hear any notifications come through and no banners. Any calls that come through will be silenced also. However, I can set calls to come from either everybody, so it will allow calls from them, nobody, so I would get no calls, or just my favourites, so I have it set to that. I can then also pick groups of takeaways if they wanted to ring me, the Migra iPhone team, different companies, or all contacts can contact me as well. And then there's another feature of repeated calls and what this does is if the same person rings you twice within three minutes the call will not be silenced on that second call so it's a nice little feature if somebody's trying to get you in a case of emergency and you have do not disturb on if they keep ringing you then they're going to be able to get through to you so that's pretty much it for iOS 6 in the settings application if we then take a look at the iPod application this has been totally reworked if we head into music you can now see that the now playing screen has been totally rethemed and this looks like something has been that has been taken from a Cydia theme if we move into the main part of this, the iPod application you can see this has all been themed and it's got a much nicer sleeker looking UI with the silver buttons as well so really really nice. Apple have spent a lot of time in changing these things and making it much nicer, much fresher and giving it a whole new look. While we're in the iPod we might as well head over to the stores. If we first look at the iTunes store this has had a new total rework as well. You can see what you've listened to in your history previously. 
and then you can see what new albums have been released and horizontally scroll through them what new compilations are hot at the moment albums under five pound and then also what's hot and then you have top songs top albums and top music videos head over to films and this has the same style very much taken from the Apple TV and that goes the same with TV programs and others if we then go into the App Store this has the same type look to it with that horizontal scroll but what I wanted to show you was a new feature if we head into top three and if we just purchase this free game just here and click install you can see that once I put my password in that while the application actually downloads the app store no longer closes and this was a real feature that really really annoyed me in iOS 5 and previous OS's so it's nice that either when you're updating an application or downloading a new one you can still browse through the app store and like I said you get all those new features where you can scroll horizontally and find out exactly what you're looking at it makes it much nicer experience for the end user if we then head over into the mail application there's some new features just there first of all we have something called VIP if we go into VIP I can select which people are going to be my VIP so I've got my wife and Nazareth from my iPhone if we go into VIP alerts it will take me into notification center and I can pick then a new mail sound if I want it to show a preview, if I want it to show the lock screen and a different type of banner setting from the actual mail application. If we head back into mail, now you may remember that just in the bottom left hand corner of mail in previous versions of OS there used to be that tap to refresh. That's no longer there. Apple have learnt from different applications and you now get a pull down to refresh so that's a nice little feature while we're talking about mail you can now have different signatures so if we just head into the mail application you can now have signatures for either all accounts or per account so you can see I have a different email from my iCloud account to my migrate iPhone email and then my different other accounts as well so you can split that personal use of your iPhone into a business use and have different signatures and there as well photos if we head into you can now see your photo stream is at the bottom rather than in albums and you can actually now share your photo stream as well so if I just pick these two click share you get this new user interface so you can add things to mail add them to messages or if I click photo stream I can now share a photo stream with somebody else who's running an iOS device or I can share it on a public website so that's a nice new feature a better sharing feature for your photos next we're going to take a look at the camera and not much has been changed there you can just see that it has a new user info interface with this black bar at the bottom there's no other new options built in at all. If we take a look at the notification center you can now see that I'm able to post straight from Facebook or I can post straight to Twitter from the my notification center so that's a nice little feature there. If we move over to the weather application weather application has been updated not much but there's just this new subtle color to it so that's I think it just makes it a little bit shinier new application also got launched called passbook and this is a default application in iOS 6 this is all that you can see of it at the moment but what passbook will allow you to do is companies will be able to send you boarding passes tickets store cards and coupons and what that will do they will automatically update so example if you're going on an aeroplane quite a lot you'll be able to have your boarding pass sent straight to your phone and you'll be able to use it from passbook example of using it with store cards you could have your Starbucks card 
held on here so they could email you that information and then when you walked past a Starbucks on your lock screen it would pop up automatically for you to use. Another new feature about mail that I needed to show you was the ability to add many many different pictures in there. Now you used to only be able to add pictures straight from the photos application. If you tap and hold you get this pop up here so select, select all, paste. I can then do the quote level or I can insert photo and video. If I click on that I should be able to pick the ones that I want. So let's just choose this one here and put that in there and then I can actually add another one as well. So let's pick that one there and choose. So it's nice that you can now, now add photos straight from the mail application. Delete that draft there. Now that this application is downloaded, you should be able to see just on the top right hand corner of that application there is a new little banner. If we bring this in a little closer and that just says new and I think once again a nice little feature just there as well so you know which ones are your new applications. Head over into Safari if we go here and then you've got clouds tab so basically I can see what tabs are open on my iPad okay so I can click this one and it'll take me straight to the Apple event that's open on my iPad if I turn my iPhone into landscape mode, I can see a full screen version by just tapping here. So it's a much nicer user experience, or then head straight back like that. So that's a nice little feature as well that you can do full screen. Now some of the bigger features. One of those had to be the mapping application. So mapping application saw a whole new design. Got rid of Google Maps and you had this new iOS Apple-esque map. So you, if we head over into the settings you still got the satellite hybrid standard. You can show what's happening with traffic, you can still add the drop pin and also print. You can see that I've selected Big Ben here and I can pick to get directions straight from there if I click the car. It's going to load up some directions for me. Gives me a suggestion of routes and if I just click start. Starting route to Big Ben. Head northwest on Dunsheave. Siri now provides voice by voice. Turn by turn, sorry, directions. If I go to the lock screen, I've got it there also. So 150 feet proceed to route and I have the map as well strike my lock screen so that's a nice feature there and just tap back and it'll take you to it and go end. Now one of the big things was the 3D flyover feature and this is only going to be available on the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2 and the iPad 3, the new iPad. If I just type in here the Sydney Opera House I don't know if you can see that just there, but I now get, if I zoom in a little bit further, spin the map around, you now get a 3D view of where you're looking at. And I have to say, on the iPad, this is absolutely amazing. Really, really nice graphics as well. And then I can head straight back to my destination by clicking the little location arrow. So Maps has worked out a total, total treat. It's nice that they have actually got rid of Google Maps and taken it upon themselves. They've joined forces with people like TomTom Tom as well to bring you all of that data and they've done a really good job of that. Now those 3D type maps aren't available everywhere but those will be rolling out. Another big feature was Siri got a lot more information. 
it can now tell you details about sports, about films, and so on and so forth. It can give you average prices of meals now, and also here in the UK and many other countries, we have now got the full Siri. Now, people in the US have had the full version of Siri since the iPhone 4S was released, but unfortunately for the rest of the world, they didn't get that. Well, now we have actually got the full version of Siri. And you can also do a few new things from Siri as well. So I can launch applications. Launch calculator. Maybe so. It launched the calculator. Send a tweet. Okie dokie. What's the message? Recording YouTube videos. I updated your tweet. Ready to send it? Cancel. Okay, I won't send it. So I can send tweets and I can also now because of the Facebook integration, I can update my Facebook status. Now like I said, Siri learned a lot more information. What was the Manchester United game result? The United beat the Revolution by a score of 3-2 to two on May 27th, 2012. Okay, so it can now provide information back for you. Didn't quite pick up the full details, so Siri has still got a little bit of learning to do. So it can give you sports scores. It can also now provide me with directions to my local place. So let's ask it for directions to Big Ben again. Give me directions to Big Ben in London. Getting directions to Big Ben. So you saw that it took me straight into the map and application and gave me directions to Big Ben. It can now give me also Show me films with Will Smith. Checking for movies with Will Smith. I found quite a few movies starring Will Smith. Okay, so it's given me details about these films. So let's just have a look at Bad Boys 2. If we click on it here, it's then got a little bit of details. If I click on the Rotten Apple results, I can see what people thought about it. If we head back, if I click on the film reel, it's the top one, I can watch a trailer of it. as well so some nice details there and like I said we now get full location based Siri as well so is there a Chinese takeaway near me this Chinese restaurant named Min's restaurant and that offers takeout looks pretty close to you okay so it's given me details of where it is it's provided the information by Yelp it gives me the average price and what type of restaurant if I click here it will give me what people thought about it and then I can check in or write a tip as well. So Siri has been totally overhauled and provides some really nice features. Another small little detail is if we go into the clock application I can now pick to use my own songs if I want to from my iPod application to wake me up in the morning instead of the annoying built-in Apple ones. So this has been our full review of iOS 6. I hope we've provided as much detail as possible. It is really, really stable and it's a great OS. It has to be one of the best updates that Apple have put out for the iDevices. So let us know if you found any new things in the comments below of this video and we will certainly do an updated version as later beta releases of iOS 6 come out. So I've been D9 Underman, thanks very much for watching and we will catch you real soon.